Hey there, welcome to Transit Rewind. My name is Brad. In the summer of 1980, rail fan and transit enthusiast David Williams visited the city of Toronto and captured on 8mm film some of the Toronto's transportation system, the TTC. In this film, he visited the Eglinton subway station and captured Toronto's trolleybus system in operation. Now we managed to get these films through an estate sale. Prior to this, these moments in time were lost forever, locked away in a basement somewhere. So we're very happy and proud to bring you David Williams' films of Toronto in 1980. But first, let's take a brief look at the history of the trolleybus system in Toronto, Canada. Toronto's electric trolleybuses first began operation on the Mount Pleasant route in 1922 and ran for three years before being replaced by streetcars. After many years of absence, in 1947 the trolley bus was reintroduced to the Toronto streets. The buses were fully electric, using power delivered by poles connected to two overhead wires. They ran on various routes throughout the city, including Bay Street downtown, and also on routes around the Young and Eglinton area. On a rainy day in September 1980, transit enthusiast David Williams stood outside Eglinton Station here filming the trolley buses. Toronto's trolley buses ran out of two different divisions, the Lansdowne Division and the Eglinton Division. The Eglinton Division trolley bus routes ran along Young Street, Avenue Road and Mount Pleasant. Route 61 Northtown served Avenue Road north of Eglinton and Mount Pleasant north of Eglinton. Running from the Young Subway to Rowe Avenue in the west and Doncliffe in the east. In 1980, when these scenes were taken, the TTC was operating the Flyer E700 trolley coaches and are seen here entering the original Eglinton Station bus bays. Young and Eglinton area holds many special memories for me. Actually right there used to be a Harvey's. My dad and I used to always sit and have a burger. I love watching the buses pass by. The upstairs Harvey's was a great place to sit and bus and people watch. It later closed and was replaced by a dental office and Japanese restaurant. In this scene, an Eglinton West D800 flyer bus follows a Nordtown trolley coach onto Eglinton Avenue. The Young and Eglinton intersection has changed quite dramatically over the years with many of the buildings seen in the 1980 film being replaced by newer office buildings and condo towers. Also gone are the original Eglinton Station bus bays. Please let us know in the comments if you have any memories of the Young and Eglinton area. We'd love to hear them. If you're enjoying this video so far and love to see more, 
please subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with the latest uploads and don't forget to hit the bell icon. In the late 1980s, the trolleybus infrastructure, such as the overhead wires and trolleybuses themselves, were in need of replacement and renewal. The timing wasn't the greatest, as in the early 90s a recession hit and TDC ridership took a tumble. In order to save costs, it was decided by the commission not to renew the trolleybus infrastructure and to bring electric bus operation to an end. The Eglinton Division trolleybus routes were among the first to be abandoned. On December 28, 1991, the last Eglinton Division trolleybus ran on Northtown East. And later, on July 16, 1993, the last Toronto trolleybus completed its run on Bay Street, bringing to an end about 46 years of electric bus operation in the city. I remember being fascinated by these buses growing up. They were ultra quiet, other than the sound of the overhead line snapping and singing as the poles went by. On board, the sound of the traction motors made these buses a lot different than diesels. I remember riding the Mount Pleasant trolley bus and also the Bay trolley bus down to the ferry docks for a day at the islands. Please share your Toronto trolley bus memories in the comments. We'd love to hear them. More recently, electric buses have made a comeback in Toronto, albeit in the form of a battery-powered version. Currently, different models are being tested and evaluated across the city. Very little evidence remains of Toronto's trolley coach system. The last remaining trolley coach, number 9339, now resides at the Illinois Trolley Museum, just outside of Chicago in the United States. enjoyed that video and we'd like to take this moment to thank the late David Williams for filming these moments in time in Toronto's history. If you happen to have any 8mm films, VHS tapes or other forms of video of public transit or cruise ships you'd like to donate to this channel, please check the description below of how to get in contact with us. Thanks for joining us today guys, we'll see you next time.